everybody. This is Mihika Basin, your English online educator. Well, this is my first time meeting you all and the very first topic that we're going to do in today's lesson is going to be your letter writing. Alright, so letter writing is a topic, a very common topic in your English syllabus and it covers up most of the middle school grades and it also extends up to your high school. So today I'm going to make it very simple for you and a lot of people have this dilemma that um, whether their letter writing format is correct or not. Not so. Trust me, I'm myself a school student so all of this data is up to date. Alright. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin. So the topics that we're going to cover in today's lesson is going to be the format of a formal letter, right? The example, I'm going to write uh, a full letter, a full formal letter. And yeah, I'm going to give you some tips on how to write a formal letter. So in letter writing, the topic that we're going to do today, it's going to be your formal letter. Now formal letter, usually what sort of categories do we have in a formal letter? Usually that is to um, an editor, right? Or you write it to your principal or if you want to order something then you can write it to a manager of any company and uh, anyone with whom you don't have an informal relationship. Say your friends, you're not going to write a formal letter to your friend asking him or her that you want to borrow something. So that is now not how it works. So any person for, with whom you maintain a formal relationship and you want to ask for something which seems a lot of professional, right? All right. So let us begin with the format of the formal letter. Right. So, first up, you have the sender's address. Alright, so this comes the first place. Uh, like, once you begin your letter, the first thing that you start with is your sender's address. Now, sender's address is, for example, there are two people. It's me, Mihika, and I'm writing to a manager of the company. Which means that I will be the sender. So I will write my address here. Now, one thing which I want to make it very clear that once you are in your, you are in your exam, all right, so especially in your board exam, you're not supposed to write um, your actual address. Now, uh, mostly what teachers teach their students is that uh, either you can write examination hall as your center's address. If, for example, your as a school student, you're writing it to your principal, then um, you make any fictional name of your school. Like, for example, um, if you're writing to a principal, you can probably put A, B, C school, right? Or any of that sort. Now, but if you look at how you actually want to write a letter, so how that comes, so probably you write the name of your um, society, where you live, your place of residence. After the, after it, your after your full residential address. After that comes the town or the city where you live, and um, which state you live in, and your pin code. Right. So, for example, I live in A B C Society, Sector Fifty Nine, and probably I can write. Gurgaon, Haryana, and 122017. So this is a fictional address that I have given. ABC Society, Sector 59, Gurgaon, and Haryana. Alright, one more thing that I want to make very clear here, that I have written the address here just to explain you, but in your exam sheet, make sure your sender's address is completely left aligned, right? It isn't in the middle, it isn't here, the way I've written, completely left aligned. So wherever the sender's address is written, this is where your actual thing should come. Right. After the sender's address, you have your date. 
Now, how the date is written? Now, if, for example, uh, for example, today's date is 21st December. So, if you write 21, 12, 21, this is going to be absolutely wrong. You always have to write the date in the expanded form. Which means December 21, comma, to separate the date and the month with the year. Another thing that I want to share here is that most students, they tend to put a comma here as well to separate the month, the date and the year. But you will notice one thing that in the latest format that we follow as students, commas have almost become so obsolete. So there will be no use of comma except in a few places, right? So not even in, in any salutation or thanking that will come to a little later. You won't see a single comma there. So only in the date after, uh, after the date do you actually see a comma to separate the month and the date with the year. Okay. Next up you have your receiver's address. Now, how do you write a receiver's address? So, for example, if I want to write it to the principal, I write, first the designation comes, the principal, I write any fictional name, A, B, C, school, um, Gurgaon, Haryana, and then my pen code. If I want to write it to the editor, sorry, the editor, Times of India, New Delhi, and then you give your pen code, right? So, you first write the designation of the person whom you're writing to. If you're writing to the manager, you'll write the manager. You write the institution where that person belongs from, belongs to. So the principal belongs to this school. The editor is of Times of India. So you write that and then you write the location of that organization. I hope this is clear. Okay, excellent. Now, next up, you have the subject now what is a subject so subject is the purpose why are you writing this letter now i'll give you one very simple example for example there the school in which i study in um, the school in the school there is not a very good condition of cleanliness there that then therefore i write a letter to my principal stating the lack of cleanliness in the school corridor. So that will be my subject. Similarly, if I want to write a letter to the editor of Times of India stating the increasing levels of pollution and how people are so insensitive towards this issue. So therefore, the subject is going to be awareness about uh, letter to invoke awareness about the rising pollution levels so one thing here though my purpose can be a lot of a very extensive but the subject always has to be very crisp and it should actually sum up why you wrote this letter one more very important thing okay so i'll just write it here should be crisp one more important thing the word subject Right. It should be underlined. Right. To the colon and then you write your subject. Now, I don't mean to say that the subject that you write that has to be underlined. No. The word subject should be underlined. Right. Now, having said this, one more misconception is that most students, they think, okay, that we have written the word subject and then we write the sentence, the subject sentence. That means we should also write the word date and then write the date. No. In the letter, after the center's address, you directly write the date. You don't need to write the word date. But when it comes to your subject, 
you need to write the word subject, underline it, put a colon and then write the statement, the subject statement. I hope this is clear. Right. Okay, this got erased. I'll just come to what we have in our format next. Okay, next up after the subject, you have your salutation. Salutation is sir or ma'am. For example, if I'm writing to principal ma'am, all right, so I'm going to write ma'am. For example, if I'm writing to an editor, say Mr. Sharma, just a fictional name, then I'm going to write sir. Now, one more thing. You are not supposed to write dear sir or respected sir, right? And, okay, so these are un unacceptable. Earlier, many students used to write this, but this has been omitted from the format. And again, you're not supposed to put a comma like this. Okay, so like I said earlier, commas have been omitted. They have been obsolete from your letter. All right. Okay. Now comes the main important, you know, the place where you fetch most marks for your letter. I think I should probably erase this. It has become very congested. I'll just scoot back and then probably you can take a screenshot of all of this. You can pause the video here. All right. So, yes, you have to begin from the body of the letter. Alright, so yeah, I we stop here. We have to write the subject. Okay, now for example, I just choose a topic, then I'll explain to you how the actual the ideal body of the letter should look like, what criteria you need to follow. Supposedly, my topic is um, or Poor level of cleanliness maintained in the school. Right. So you're writing that how your school is never, you know, mopped properly or broomed properly or how the corridors are, you know, people litter uh, the corridors, how it's dirty, unhygienic. So the letter is about that and you're writing it to your principal. Okay. Now, you have your subject. Then if I'm writing it to my Principal ma'am, I'm going to write ma'am. And then starts the body of the letter. Now the body of the letter is written in three paragraphs. Supposing this is my paragraph A. Uh, paragraph B, the second paragraph and paragraph C. Right. Alright. So your first paragraph is where you introduce... Introduce yourself, talk about which, what is your name and um, what class you come from, right? And then introduce yourself and then you write the purpose why you wrote this letter. So, you introduce yourself, for example, if my name is Mika, I write my full name, uh, that ma'am, I am Mika Basin. And I'm from class 11th. I have written this letter to tell you or to inform you about the poor level of cleanliness maintained in this school. Right? Okay. And this is where your paragraph 1 ends. Now, here, my paragraph 1 is very short considering the topic that I have. In some topics, 
paragraph one, you know, they usually consist of more than one sentence or two sentence, probably three and four, and that is where you should end your sentence. For example, if you want to talk about the bad quality of your bus service, then you can, you know, elaborate a little, but make sure you keep it crisp. All right. Okay. So you introduce yourself and introduce the topic. Keep it very crisp. Okay. So I'm telling it to you right now, but in, you know, in some time when I'm going to actually show you a sample of formal letter, that is where I'm going to repeat all of this and it's going to get very clear. All right. So moving on, now, you, this is your first paragraph, then you leave a line here, okay, and then you write your second paragraph. This is the most important paragraph, the most important, when I say most important, actually the most important. This is where you describe and elaborate your entire concern, elaborate your concern in detail now the topic is poor level of cleanliness maintained so your the second paragraph can contain the following pointers that uh, students litter the sanitation or the school helpers are inefficient 